Welcome to apenasimagens.com. I am Wagner Lungov, and in this video I'm going to show you an adaptation I made in my enlarger in order to use uh, LEDs as light source. It was originally a condenser enlarger, a Durst Laborator 1000, that can handle up to 4x5 inches negatives, and now it's a diffuser enlarger. And the advantage of the LEDs is that they are far more powerful than regular bulbs, allowing much shorter times of exposure. And they can, I can control the contrast of the copy while using uh, multi-contrast paper by a combination of blue and green LEDs. So this little box you're seeing, it has a, a grid of green and blue LEDs uh, inside that are controlled by uh, an Arduino platform. I use the Arduino Pro Mini and in this way I can mix green and, and blue lights in order to have uh, uh, the contrast control. Here I'm testing to see if the connection is okay. You see it's a remote control that communicates with the Arduino. It's okay. And I'm, now I'm going to show the whole process of enlarging one picture, showing the, 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 the whole process. This is the negative. It's a um, classic film. It's exposure index 200. It's very grainy. I developed it in D23. It's a fine grain developer. And the camera I used, it's a uh, Graflex uh, 23, a mini. And the lens is a Schneider 65 millimeters, a wide angle lens. The tonal range was quite okay. It was like five, six different shades of, of, of gray in zones. And now I, I'm programming the first test strip. I set contrast zero for exposures of nine seconds without any base exposure. That's what the B stands for. And the paper I'm using is a Edward fiber and it's a matte paper. And the exposures are automatic, but controlled by the, the Arduino with a two seconds delay between one and another. This is exposure specifically, it was a wrong one because I forgot to stop down the lens. So what you are seeing is a 5.6 while the actual exposure was, the one that worked, was f22. As I said, it's, it's very very powerful in terms of uh, light the LED had. So this is the low contrast exposure, that's why it's uh, clearly green light. Only the green LEDs were uh, lit up. The timer I used two minutes for development. It's a, this is a timer for development. The developer was D20, D72, it's a Kodak formula, homemade in this case. It's very much like the, the Dectol developer that I used to buy in former times. After one minute, about one minute, it's already very uh, defined, the final image. We can see the, the four different exposures. And from there, it goes to the acid bath to stop the development. As the emotion is already soaked in the developer, I used to drain 20 seconds to avoid transferring chemicals to the next bath. And from there to the fixer. So this is the first test strip. Was 9, 18, 27, 36 seconds in F22. I made a second one with contrast 6. There's a big difference in terms of timing. You see, 
For contrast 6, I use from 3 to 12 seconds only in F22. I never use this uh, aperture in, with regular bows. And now it's a question of picking different uh, zones and for the final copy. I like in the case of the low contrast, this part, the, the third uh, exposure. It's uh, because the sky is very uh, smooth, the grain is less visible. And for the high contrast, I, for the foreground, I like this second, uh, the six second uh, exposure. So the final copy will be a combination of both. I'm setting now the, the timer for contrast zero three times nine seconds. It could be one time 27, it doesn't matter. I'm just following the, the, the test strips. It was the second and third strip. So now contrast six to times three seconds. And then change it to once in order to have only one exposure for each line. Now it's the final copy. And then I need, I have to switch on the, the controller with the remote control. In this case, we can't see the the image because it's f22, and I realized that the the, the camera, the video camera, is not able to to capture. I was seeing something there, but it's very dim image anyway. I'm protecting the lower part of the image because that's the the low contrast exposure. When it's done. There is a two seconds delay and there is also a, a sound signal. I changed now and now I'm protecting the upper part of the image and making the high contrast exposure. It's only the blue lights in this case. And the development, it's a regular, like the test strip. Now we have the, 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 the whole copy. And the result was pretty much as planned. We have a, a foreground plenty of details and the foreground is very smooth. This is the washing. I use a small pump, those for, for fish bowls in order to ensure agitation and, and have a complete uh, dissolution of fixer in the water. This is a scan from this copy you just saw to show the details in the foreground and how it gets smoother in the background. It corresponds to this uh, windy and dull day in a wheat field. You have details about the construction of the LED head in my website apenasimagens.com. There I talk about which LEDs, how to connect them, how to power them and some hints about how to control them using, as I said, an Arduino platform. Well, that's it. I hope it was useful for you and then and that you try yourself maybe to use LEDs as light sources for your enlarger.